We go to AEW. AEW. Uh, I, I was pretty hard on AEW. I, I think it's the best North American product, but I see a lot of red flags that I'm trying to dodge left and right, and this is kind of a big red flag. Malachi Black says, I requested to be strictly on AEW Collision. Uh, uh, he goes, I request to be strictly on Collision. I don't want people to get uh, to get the pick Saturday night. I get to see House of Black. If you get the option Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday, you're going to go. It doesn't really matter. I'll tune in whenever. They'll be there. I want it. I don't want that to lose polish. Uh, I don't understand that. Just say you're friends with CM Punk. <laughs> like, well, okay. I don't understand that quote. There's another theory, though, that people have because Andrade also had made a statement three days ago where he says, I respect all the talent of all the AEW brands. Remember, if they respect me, they will always receive my respect because they all work hard to earn a place. I am AEW Collision, and I love the locker room. We've only had three weeks on TV, and we achieved it three weeks with other brands having four or less years, which is stupid because you're an offshoot of a, sh of a TV show that's already, already yeah. achieved success. You don't get to claim your success on the time frame you did it because you are just their second show that uh, uh, whatever uh, can i add one thing real quick sir yeah is it their b show if rampage gets more views that's a valid point i guess it's their c show for cm punk yep but right, um God. andrade basically he continued on to say that he enjoys working it and all that and he loves being on collision some people are pointing out that a big part of it is probably because Andrade, the the people who have said stuff about it, Andrade, Brody, and Malachi, or or was it Buddy? It was Andrade, Malachi, and someone else in House of Black have all said something. All those people are dating someone who works in WWE on their schedule, and someone had pointed out that the days off WWE Raw workers get are the same days off that Collision workers would get. You know what? I just stepping in here, retired PR guy. That would be a million times better if you said that. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. It would be a this, zillion it's great times because I get to see my my fiance or my girlfriend on the week. Because uh, here's the thing: like when you say oh, you got to see me on Collision, I'm like, what a piece of shit is my instant instant yeah. fucking answer. But if you say, oh, I get to spend time with my family if I'm on Collision, I watch it without calling you a piece of shit. And it makes sense on paper because when you think about it, Dynamite and Rampage do happen on the most dead night for WWE main roster stars, which is the middle of the week for them. Yeah, so I, I just I just find it weird. I we've we've talked about this. We hate the idea of a brand split. We hate the idea of we're on this show, we're on that show, uh, because a bottom line is, if Kenny leaves, I leave. <laughs> that's your, the bottom your line. brand your brand doesn't feel strong enough to justify a split yeah because like rampage they made rampage used to be my favorite show but they made it like the other two so now rampage is the same as the other two and collision if you ask anyone that isn't a corporation wah, wah, you know what i mean they love corporations more than human beings mm-hmm if you ask someone from Japan, you ask someone from India, you ask someone from around the world that maybe they just ain't as loyal to corporations as you North Americans. Collision in Monday Night Raw. You can't tell the difference. It's the same show. It's literally the same show. One has it does feel one very WWE-ish. One but has more less story. 3D graphics. Like that's what you're choosing. If you watch Monday Night Raw and SmackDown and Collision, it is the same show minus the entrance graphics. So, you know, you know, if you don't like those graphics, watch Collision. If you do, they are the same show. Absolutely. You say that, show. but honestly, Raw feels less predictable to me than Collision, which is a sad thing. Yeah, well, I, this, this Collision coming up, they got a big choice. CM Punk well, and FTR yeah. can decide... Are they pieces of shit? Or are they not? We'll find and out. I don't know. Do we have that later as a topic? Or... No, let's add it right now. We'll add it into this. Okay, because this was something that I had wanted. I know we had both wanted to talk about. Because first off, we all knew he was going to beat Samoa Joe because on Twitter they kept saying, they kept reminding us that 
CM Punk had never beat Samoa Joe before. It's like, okay, well, same thing with the he's definitely team. going over now. Yeah, and it's like, okay, he's going over now. You've you've completely removed any shot we had him believing that he wasn't going to go over there. And WWE and, did. I just want to add something because you know, yeah, the, I feel like every North American I meet pick sides. WWE did the same thing with Roman Reigns not being pinned in three years. They made yeah, the same mistake. Yeah, it too. telegraphs it. Telegraphs yeah. it really hard. And I get why they're doing it, but uh, I, I think it was you who had the point before. Say it after it happens. Be like, this is the first time he's been pinned in this. You know, this is the first time Samoa, Samoa Joe has lost to CM Punk. Make it exciting at the pin, not like I, whatever. I, I think it's really stupid and it, it kind of frustrates me. I'm hoping the collision gets better, but as it is right now, if CM Punk wins the Owen instead of it going to a young guy, then the Owen's worthless. Yeah. Um, I mean, at least the Owen, it gets his name out there, which is not worthless. But outside of getting Owen's name out there, it's pretty worthless. Well, okay, but here's the thing. His name's going out there no matter who wins it. So we can't That's give true. that as a benefit if they win it. It's worthless at that point because the tournament's going to keep happening no matter what because they're never going to stop this tournament. It's always going to keep happening having the same residual effect of it getting Owen's name out there. However, if you keep having big, huge names that everybody already knows win it, it loses something. It's not as magical if you always know that the biggest name in the tournament's going to win. Yeah, no. You got, you bring Which, up which I point. think is a great juxtaposition after we just talked about the G1 and how we cannot, we don't know who's going to win it. There's not a set obvious pick for even a group yeah. to go to where it's, it feels like if they, if they have CM Punk win again, then it's going to be hard not to just expect the top guy to win the next one again. Yeah. 